So we've got this groovy little animation going on here. We can pause it, we can play it. Um, I wanna take a look at um, the reverse functionality. So uh, in order to see that, we really need to have something we could reverse. Uh, so I'm gonna set up our circle with a border of one pixel solid white, right? Um, but then I'm gonna say border top is one pixel solid blue. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I can see it there. We're going to come down here. We're going to get rid of the change in color. So now we can just see our circle. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of that background color. So there's our circle. Uh, let's bump this up so we can see it better. Say like four pixels. Okay, so there's our circle. Uh, we don't need it to animate up and down. Instead, we're going to rotate it. Whoops. Rotate, and here we'll go uh, 359 degrees. So we're going to rotate from zero to 359 degrees. Now we got like this kind of spinner looking thing. Again, this is just a div. It's a, uh, a box that has one side of its border uh, colored in as blue, and then we've given it a border radius. Um, I don't want to alternate any longer. I just want it to go forward. And I don't need this easing. I just want it to continue going forward. Cool. So now let's add another button here. This will be for reverse. And we'll just come down to our event listeners and we'll create a new one for our reverse button. And we'll just say my animation reverse. So there's our new button and let's, yeah, whatever. It's a little close to this button, so it looks weird, but I'm just gonna say reverse. And now it is playing in reverse.